Hey guys, Isra Hinegarza here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I noticed you've seen lately we've been working on the Colorado. Uh, she's my tow pig, I gotta take care of her. So I put some new wheels and tires on her, put a little lift on her, make her look good, if you know what I mean. And there's one more thing that I saw online that I really think I needed. You know, towing with a mid-sized truck. The visibility is terrible, the visibility is terrible. So I found these tow mirrors, especially made for a Colorado or a GMC Canyon online. Yes, they are second hand. So uh, they're not perfect, but I got them real cheap and I'm going to go put them on my truck. The thing is, is these are special lights. You have to uh, do some wiring. So part of it is plug and play, part of it is some wiring. These mirrors are from Boosted Auto. They make special um, aftermarket mirrors for Chevys and Fords and freaking GMCs and all that stuff. So let's go check out what I bought. So look at how flashy these things are, huh? I think they retail, depending, they come with a bunch of options. They retail between... Five hundred and eight hundred dollars. Um, I got the. This is the good model with the, the freaking lights and the cargo light and stuff like that. They're not perfect. He, this guy wrapped these, um, so he did a terrible job on them. But the other same color as my truck, so I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's use a little scuff there. Probably get that off. Um, yeah, but these mirrors are in pretty good shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap them on. Um, if you have a car and you're watching this video, I will try to make an instructional. It's pretty simple. The only thing is, is you got to run wires and use T-taps and stuff like that. I hate T-taps. They do extend. They are extendable. They extend down to three, four inches. So that's pretty cool. And it has two plugs here. So this plug is a factory plug. You just plug it into the factory plug and that will control, you know, the heating and the um, electronic mirrors and stuff like that. So everything will work normal. But they got this plug as well. And what this plug does is it powers the turn signal see the turn signal show right here it has a cargo light and a reverse light depending on on how you wire it up so you can use that and then not only is this a running light it is also a turn signal so these lights are pretty trick and I'm gonna go uh, slap them in my truck I already got one mirror on I didn't wire it yet because I gotta get this mirror on but um, the door panel is kind of a pain in the ass to take off, but as long as you know what you're doing, it's pretty simple. So let's, uh, we're going to do the passenger side, we're going to take that door panel off, and uh, we're going to slap this mirror on. Okay, there's a few things you're going to need to uh, take this door panel off and get the mirror off. So here's the tools that I use. I just have an impact, you can use a, a ratchet, no big deal. I also have a 10 millimeter socket and a 7 millimeter socket. Um, I just grabbed a few flatheads, uh, a smaller one and a bigger one. So first thing you want to do is take the small flathead and you got to pry. There's a little opening right behind the handle. You have to pry that off. Take that, toss it on the floor. And then there's a bunch of 7 millimeter bolts that you have to take out. There's going to be one right here. There's going to be two at the bottom, one right here and one right here. And this plastic cover comes off. You gotta yank pretty hard. Feels like you're gonna break it. And then there's two little um, seven millimeters under there. And then after that, you could slowly start prying your door panel off of your door. It has all those like little push-in clips. So you gotta be careful full of that. And then once you get that, you gotta hold it at a, like pretty high of an angle because there's like some right here that you kind of need to get out. And then after that, you could just yank it up and the door panel hooks on the door and you can yank it right off. It's kind of tough, but uh, we'll get it done. Now it comes with these metal clips. Some stay with it, some stay on the door. So just uh, make sure you get those out of the door, put them back on here. That way when you put it back on, it doesn't go on all wonky. Now we can start prying just little by little, do one at a time or else you're going to break these things. You have to get the door handle clip off. It's really easy, it's a clip, you press it down, pull it out, then pull it up. There's a few clips over here, you just unclip them. There's one. This clip, it's pretty hard to get out. That's why I have my mini screwdriver, there's a red tab on there. You got to pull it down to be able to 
press the clip in. Pull the red piece down, then you can unclip it. Take your door panel, put it to the side. Here's the mirror plug, unplug that. And then you gently pull on it. You don't, it's this whole one piece. You don't wanna pull the whole thing off. You don't really need to. So just pull enough off just to get to the screws, like that. There's three 10 mils. Undo those 10 mils. So I pulled one out. We're gonna pull the rest out by hand while you're holding the mirror on the other side so it doesn't fall. So this new mirror already has three studs and three bolts. So we'll just use those. I got two nuts in. One of them I dropped inside the door panel like an idiot. So I gotta pull the speaker off to get it out. But it's okay because we have to pull the speaker out anyways when we start writing the wires. So put our seven mil back on, give the speaker a pull, and then lift up at the bottom because it gets wedged in there. Undo the clip, and here's my nut. <laughs> Never drop your nut, guys. Then you got your wires. So one of them, pretty handy. You just plug it right into the factory spot. Boom, done. That'll do uh, all your factory stuff for heating and your and your mirror adjusting and stuff like that. But then there's this new little clip um, that we are going to have to run wires for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the harness to this clip. We're gonna run it through here and then we took the speaker out because we need to access, there's a plug in there. I don't know if you can see it too well. There's a plug in there. There's a freaking plug right here and there's a grommet goes inside the car. So we have to fish the wires all the way through there inside the car. So we're gonna do that right now. You have two harnesses that come with these kits. One is really long and one's not so long. Use the really long one, obviously, because we're gonna be connecting everything on the driver's side. So we're gonna take the longer one and that's the one we're gonna use. In that case, this one. So we're gonna take this one, we're gonna plug it in, feed it through the grommet, bring them down, bring them through the other grommet, and then put them inside and run them in the car. And it's also easier if you take that bolt out because you can open your door a little bit more and it should give you a tiny bit more room. Let me show you what I did right here real quick, guys. I just took a wire, welding wire, because I didn't have anything else. And uh, I poked a small hole on the top of this grommet that attaches to the plug that attaches to the door. So you need to get the wires out of the door through this uh, I don't know, grommet or whatever you call it, through this, and then I'm going to pull all the wire through, and then once I do that, I'm gonna stick the wire in the hole of the car, and then feed the wire into the car. I don't know why I call it a car, it's a truck. I got my wire through the grommet, and I got it through the hole, so now we can go ahead and put this grommet back, we can put this plug back, and then we're gonna have a little bit of slack of wire, and we can uh, eliminate that. But we'll do that at the end, to make sure we have enough wire going that way. So here's what I did. Kind of a pain to see in here. But you can see where the wire comes through. Right here, under the fuse box. Cool thing about this fuse box is it's not bolted in, it's clipped in. There's a clip right there. I just took that clip, pulled the bottom out, like, I don't know, an inch. It's pretty easy to fish through. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and clip the fuse box back in place. And then you got your wires safely in your truck. And then from there, there's a gap right here at the bottom of the center console. Take our welding wire, shove it through the gap, bring it out on the other side. And then we're gonna take it all the way to the plugs over there on the driver's side. Now when you put the door panel back on, you gotta take these clips and then you just gotta put them in these holes right here. So there's a total of five of them. So make sure you get those in before you give it a good old press. And then you just press all these uh, little buttons in, that's it. Some of them are big, so you gotta make sure those are in the proper holes. So we're just gonna press that door panel back in. And then we gotta put in all of our seven millimeter bolts. And then we can focus on the wiring. Like I said, if we got our wires from our mirrors, through our doors, through that grommet, inside the car, same both sides. Now, here's where the wiring comes into play. So they give us four of these uh, little fused connections here. They have butt connectors on them and they have uh, these little clips, and they come with these things called T-taps. Um, since I bought my new use, I had to come up with the extra few. It comes with the red ones because that's meant for the wire, the size wire that we're gonna be doing it on, but the blue ones should work fine too. So 
we have four fuse connections, right? Now the reason why there's four is because we need one for each turn signal, right? Left turn signal has its own fuse connection, which is the orange and yellow wire. And then the right turn signal has its own fuse connection, and it's also an orange and yellow wire. And then we have blue wires, white wires, and black wires. So the rest you can share a fuse connection with because they're not specific, like turn signals, they're just lights. So these ones are the running lights. So you can uh, put those on one fuse, so you just kind of put them inside of the buck connector, crimp it down. And then the same for the white wires, these are going to be your, uh, your cargo or reverse lights. I just uh, have the cargo light option. So the white wires can go together because it's obviously it's a light. And then the black ones, they don't need a fuse or anything. You just need to put it to uh, something that you can fit a screw through and ground it. The manufacturer's uh, recommendations are to just pull one of these bolts out, shove it in there, and pull the bolt back in. So we're just going to do that. We're going to put that right there. No big deal. And then when we're getting to these clips here, there's a freaking uh, like a body control module box inside of there and it has a few clips and they're all different colors. So we're going to be dealing with a few of them. The first one we're going to be dealing with is the black one. So we're going to pull the black one out. So the idea of a T-tap is to pretty much share the circuit with something else. For example, this T-tap on this wire, which is pin seven, if you look at it, the T-tap is on the wire, the wire is in there, and it looks like it splits the insulation and it shares the connection with the wire. By closing it like this, you close it, and then there's a good little spot right there, and then, for example, this is your um, running lights. So here's your T-tap for your running lights, and the running lights, remember, well, they're blue, so we'll take our blue circuit, we'll take this, and we'll just plug it right in to the end of the T-tap like this and then that's it the lights on the mirrors are going to turn on so we got that done black plug pin 7 and when I say pin 7 I mean if it's being plugged in like that here's the plug right the little pinchy thing that you pinch to, to take the plug out you're looking at it like that from the back so you're gonna go from left to right. Pin one, two, three, four. So the two yellow ones are one and two, and then three and four. And then you go to the next row from left to right, five, six, seven. And in this case, it's like a kind of colorblind guys, but it's like a brown wire with a small blue stripe on it. So we're just going to put our T-tap on there, connect to the blue wire. Now we're gonna move on. The next one is going to be our right turn signal. So this is going to be the same plug the third pin over, so the two yellow pins are pin one and two, and then pin three is going to be our right turn signal, so I already put my T-tap on there. And guys, once you close this, if you have a hard time pinching it with your hand, what I do is I just take a pair of freaking channel locks or pliers or whatever, and you can just give it a little squeeze, and that should do just fine. So that's right turn signal. Okay, so that's it for the brown plug for now. Now we are going to be dealing with the gray plug. The gray plug is all the way on the bottom, so I already unclipped it, I'm just going to pull it out. Here's the gray plug right here. On this gray plug, you're going to be looking for pin number 7. Like I said, start at the top from left to right. Top goes 1, 2, 3. And then the bottom from left to right, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the color of the wire is... Looks like it's brown and white. I already have my T-tap on here. And this is going to be for your cargo lights. So I do not have the option for the cargo and reverse light, so I'm not gonna wire that. I'm just gonna wire the cargo light. So, like I said, you're gonna take your white wires and your fuse, and you're gonna take this side, and you're gonna plug it right into the T-tap on the gray plug. Boom. Now you're gonna have your cargo lights. Last plug, we put the other two plugs back in, and now we're gonna be working on the brown plug. The brown plug's the one pretty much in the middle, so I already have it unplugged. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out. Bring it out to the bottom. And if you guys haven't noticed, I've just been taking this tape and stripping it up about an inch and a half so I have more room to play with. So we'll do that. And now we're gonna work on our last turn signal, the left one. This is going to be on pin two, like I said, top row. This is going to be a little bit thicker wire. This is going to be blue and white. This is gonna be our left turn signal. So we're just gonna take the last fuse we have with our left turn signal, because it's coming from the left side. 
And we're just gonna plug it right into the T-tap. And we are not done yet. Last, we're going to take our two grounds that we put together on this connector. We're gonna loosen this 10 millimeter bolt. We're just gonna shove it in between there and then we're gonna tighten it and then we're done. Plug everything back in. Tuck all the wires up in there if you wanna do it all nice. Put some zip ties on it. That's what I'm gonna do and then we'll get back with you. That's it guys, everything's done, put away. The wires are tucked away. I just used a few zip ties. And this is what it looks like. Here's the running light. Now let me slap on the left turn signal. See how it changes colors? And then on the front of the mirror, it's got the little blinker. And then I'll show you the difference with the extension out. It goes out about, I don't know, three inches. There's a tow mirror with the extension out. Thing's ridiculous. And here's it with it in. There's a truck with the flashers on. These mirrors are sweet. Kind of a pain in the ass to wire. But they are sweet. And then last but not least, the cargo light. So we just press this right here, cargo light, boom. Then these bad boys turn on. That's the cargo light on the mirrors and then that's the cargo light for the bed. So those turn on when you turn the cargo light on, which is pretty cool, but your car has to be in either neutral or park to turn those on. Let's extend those tow mirrors, both of them. So as you guys can see, it sticks out a freaking ridiculous amount. And I need it. I tow this huge trailer right here. This is uh, this is 20 foot long by, I think it's eight feet, two inches wide. She's a wide girl, I couldn't see shit with my mirrors before. So I went ahead and picked these up. It gives me a better incentive to buy things to use because I don't really need them, but it really does help. Now putting these on a stock truck, I don't think it'll look right. I think it's better off for them to be lifted. Hope you guys enjoy this little freaking how-to video or whatever you want to call it. Boosted Auto, they do have a website. Check out their website, Boosted Auto. They also have YouTube videos that uh, explain how to install these mirrors as well. I figured I would just do it only because like, I'm not gonna be like biased. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on them. Haven't driven with them yet, but I gotta say like looks and quality wise, they're pretty good. I bought these used too. So um, someone probably had them on the truck for a couple years, I don't know. And they also have an option to where you can get the painted type. Um, these are wrapped, but you can also paint them or you can get them in flat black. So if you guys wanna go check that out, it's called boostedauto.com. They make these mirrors, especially for the Colorado and the Canyon. And there's, there's some cooler options too that you can get. You can choose all the options that you want for the lights and stuff and the cargo lights. But uh, like I said, since I got these used, I really didn't have a choice. They accent my truck a lot, I love them. I'm gonna end this video off here, but I wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys like my truck, let me know. I can make more videos on it. If not, it's just going to keep being on the race cars. But we did lift it, and we did put some bigger wheels and tires on it. And we also put these tow mirrors on them. So let me know. There's also a video on the lift if you guys want to check that out. That's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Sharon Garza. I'm Modified. I'm out. Peace.